Let's talk about lead generation campaigns. They are one of the best ways to generate leads on Facebook right now. The end step of lead generation campaign is the lead form, which is one of the most critical parts to being successful lead generation campaigns. Even though this is so critically important to be awesome at, I see so many people just blow by and not do a very good job. So today, we are going to talk about how to do your lead forms for lead generation campaigns. We're going A to Z. It's gonna be awesome. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so here we are at the end of our lead generation campaign at Facebook. As I said before, in the last video, I scrolled down and I have some course content that's in there that is just not ready for you guys to see yet. I'm sorry, it's only available in the course as of right now. Uh, but I did want to show you guys how to create a lead form and the basics of walking through lead form creation. So we're gonna go ahead and click new form. If you guys haven't watched the video before this and you guys are watching this and interested in this, you should probably watch that one as well so you guys can click there at the end or whenever you guys want let's go ahead and go to new form all right so at the very top here here is what you're going to see in your forms collection so first one is title so i like to title these by the location or something that i want to remember this form by because when you guys are collecting data, when you're starting to collect data, you can have multiple lead forms and use those lead forms to send them in different directions, send those leads in different directions. So for example, if I'm a telesales agent and I'm doing a lead generation campaign in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm doing one in Orlando, Florida, I wanna know the difference between uh, those, those leads that are coming from Orlando and the leads that are coming from Ohio, okay? Because it is important to know where your leads are coming from. So let's go ahead and call this Columbus Lead Form 1. All right, so that's where you create it. Do whatever you guys want, that's totally up to you. All right, now your picture right here is going to pop up. Uh, this is as a preview of your image is going to appear here. So that is just gonna pop up right there. So whatever you use in your advertisement is gonna use there, or you guys can use, I believe there's an additional option, yep. So you guys can upload a different image there if you want. If you guys are advertising locally and or are well known, this is a decent place to put your picture up. Just boom, hi, I'm Jerry, I'm the local agent in town, I'm here to help you out. You know, having that personal connection here in the picture can help you out. All right, so we're just going to uh, use the ad, use the image from your ad. We're just gonna stick with that for now. All right, now you guys can see here, this is the page, this is the dummy page I created just to uh, do these tutorials from. Now you have your headline text. This is what is coming next. So obviously whatever you type in there is going to come in right there. So usually you want this something to correlate from your advertisement into this first headline text box. So for example, in our advertisement that we did, our example, we were selling annuities. Now let's say that they wanted to get more information about annuities. So we could say something along the lines of, um, thank you. No, we don't want to say thank you yet. That's a lie. You could say, Click there, there we go. Shown to provide X, Y, Z results. And again, this is just for sample sake, guys. I'm not actually doing an annuity advertisement or talking about the content that goes in the ad or in the lead form here, but I did want to show you guys where things go and how to actually operate and navigate through it. All right, next one is the paragraph is gonna be here. You would say something like, uh, put your information below to get the details on the programs. There you go. All right, so now I have that there and, oh, I can actually might wanna, so that's, that's the, the small text. I thought that was actually the headline text here, but you might be able to actually leave this out maybe. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you have the option to leave it out, I don't actually recommend putting anything there. And then just using the headline here to write the next text. I'm not sure if it's actually gonna let me go through with it, but we'll find out. Uh, so we can put there information below to receive all the details. Again, you guys should be much more creative than what I'm showing you guys right now. This is just for example's sake. Now you have the option to choose the questions. Now obviously the contact fields uh, are gonna go in order on how you put them over here. So whatever information you want, when you put add a new question like this, this is just gonna give you some options. So you have contact field. So we could put phone number, street address, city, and really you guys can just go through these and collect any information that you want. Now, when you're collecting custom information, which I'll show you how to do in a second, you cannot collect any personal information such as like credit card history um, or how much money they have in the bank or anything like that. Any type of dollar amount, Facebook does not like you collecting, okay? So we have full name, email, phone number, state, city, street address, all of that stuff. Little secret tip for you, little assassin's hack, don't use full name here. Facebook opts to full name, but you don't want to use full name. So to get rid of it, what you want to do is you want to click on it and you want to delete it. You say, well, Jerry, what do I do? You want to use user info. You want to use first name and last name. And why that's important, if you guys ever go to creating automated systems, as far as text messaging or scheduling or anything like that, which I highly recommend you do, I highly recommend you do. I'm going to make some videos on it, but very, very cool stuff going on with automations. You can now isolate their first name without saying, hey, Jerry Moore, which seems very robotic. You can now say, hey, Jerry, what's up? And now it seems like a person is contacting them, which is what you want, which is the point of this. We want those automations to feel human. All right. If you guys are doing automations already, let me know down in the comments what ones you have done or which ones you're interested in. So if you're interested in text messaging or email or anything like that, let me know down below. I wanna see, I'm kind of interested to see where you guys are at right now. All right, privacy policy. This is really, 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 really important. I could say really 10 times, it doesn't stress the importance of this. You have got to have a bulletproof privacy policy. Good news, I'm your friend. You got your boy Jerry in the house. I have made a video on this where I give you my privacy policy that I use for the course for all of our agents, okay? I know you guys love me, I get it, I know. All right, so the link to that video, let's put that link down here or up here somewhere. Don't go there yet, wait till the end of the video. We'll attach the link at the end of the video as well and down below, all of that stuff. Watch the rest of this video first, then go and create your privacy policy because you need to create the privacy policy before you submit the lead form. Do not submit the lead form without a good privacy policy, which is in that video. Okay, you guys got it. I think I got the message across. So I have already done the privacy policy, which is right here. And boom, this is my sample privacy policy. Obviously, the one that I give you guys is much better than it just says Jerry's killer privacy policy. But you will get a link and all of that will be explained in the video. So, you know, just go watch the video after this. You're going to put the link in the link URL and the link text is gonna go here. And you're gonna put your insurance name, so I put Columbus. Let's go ahead and put Jerry. Jerry's privacy policy. This should match your Facebook page. Okay, this should patch the name of your Facebook page. All right? Add a custom disclaimer. This is an option to have them do an additional opt-in. I personally, not my thing. You guys do have that option to make them, you know, really disclaim again, yes, I'm sure I want to submit this information. That is going to cause significant drops in your guys' conversions as far as how many leads you're generating, but the quality will be better. Your choice, okay? We're gonna go ahead and leave it off. Now we're going to go to the thank you page. Thank you page is going to have the image up here and that's the image that is from your advertisement. You should see that populate there. And now you have your headline and your text description. So thank you, you're all set, your information has been sent. Uh, tap here to visit. So you guys can change this text, obviously, if you would like, which I definitely recommend as well. And you guys can change this button down here, which is pretty cool. So this button is a click to go to a website. Now you guys have two good options here. Uh, good option number one is create a calendar. 
And with that calendar, you're gonna put your calendar link here. And with the calendar button text, you would say, schedule your call now. Okay, very, very simple. Second option, you guys can also do call business. Okay, so if you do this, you can put your phone number or whatever your business phone number is in here, and that is going to schedule, or that's going to call the phone. As soon as they click that button, it's going to call whatever number you put in here, which again, really cool, really powerful. My suggestion for you, use whichever one you want. I've seen them both work to pretty good effect, but my suggestion to you in this description, tell them what you want them to do. Okay, don't just say, thank you, you're all set, and then just have this button sit it down here. Tell them what you want to do, okay? Click the button below now to get all your information, all right? Something like that. You want to be very directed. Now, I wouldn't put now in caps. I put now for you guys to know that that word is important. And because we are giving them direction, not saying if you would like to, you could probably maybe click the button down below if you want, it's up to you. Don't say it like that, be definitive, take action here, take control, that's what this page is for, okay? You are in control of this page, tell them what you want them to do. If you want them to schedule below for a calendar, if you want them to call below, tell them to do that. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you guys have not watched the first part of this video, you know where to go to get that. We're gonna tap that at the end of this little screen that's coming here. And if you guys haven't got your privacy policy set up, that is an absolute necessity. Obviously, you guys can click on the, uh, the link down below or again on the video, and that's gonna walk you through how to properly set up your privacy policy as well as me giving you our privacy policy that is airtight bulletproof. To titanium, all right? Until next time, guys, hit the like, smash that subscribe button. We'll see you then. Peace.